Good day and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. Now this is another New World video and the big drop that we've been waiting for in New World has finally come. The new piece of the puzzle, the new part of the map, the little symphony to add to our ongoing choir. The Heart of Madness has dropped. Now obviously I'm using big words for no apparent reason but let's get into this in my standard format. So here we go down this path. I hope that they at least have a cinematic opening. I hope they've added a little bit of cinematic to the story. This will actually judge on whether or not um, New World is a good game or not or whether they have actually invested any type of development time into the story. If it's just a hashed out piece of a map thrown out there with badly colliding um, structures, a lot of overlay like we get in the regular map and uh, no cinematics for any of the story parts and nothing for us to actually chase, then we actually have something to to be disappointed about, right? I'm, I'm just being frank about this. It would be extraordinarily disappointing if it is as I'm suspecting it's going to be with no cinematics. I'm hoping that all of this load time that I'm experiencing is because of a crazy cinematic for the Heart of Madness. Now obviously I know that I'm going a bit heavy on what I'm saying and this isn't the most ideal way to go at things. It's not the right thing to say about some of these and you know you can understand that to a very huge extent. So let's see what we get. Just for by the way the only reason why I am not jumping out of the screen and changing what I'm doing is because I have a feeling that sorry about that I have a feeling that this section of the game is going to be quite different oh I had a problem with the uh, logging in over a few days uh, it wouldn't let me on I, I just couldn't jump into the game no matter how much I tried it would just keep uh, bouncing me off and since this no, there's two rent notes that I got, so okay, where's the new story piece? I know there's a new story piece. Are you telling me they didn't release a new land? No, they didn't. Double checking this first light catalyst key, Windsor, Breakwater, uh, Monarch's Bluff, Ebon Scale, Restless Shores. No, nothing new has come on. Ah, oh, man, that is so disappointing. I'm not even going to deny, this is like one of the worst kickers that could ever have been hit into a player. You just jump back into the game and you find out that you have to go and do something new altogether. Like I'm going to sign up. Okay, so... It looks like uh, the new Heartlands story wasn't 100%, right? We heard a lot about it, the Heartlands, this great big desert. We know there's a new expedition and new story missions, but there's no new sites. It's still the same old, same old. So let's see how this goes and what we're going to get to go through. Sorry about that, I'm just typing out something. I know that most people don't try to uh, multitask too much, but uh, yeah, it's something that uh, I have a habit of doing, multitasking, doing one or two 
uh, variant tasks at the same time, looking for good places to build up and get to the next stage. <sighs> now, honestly, this is so disappointing because you already know where the new dungeon is. It's sitting inside Merka. Obviously, that means there's a whole run that you're going to have to do for the Merc run. As you can see, I had a mission in there. It is just such a small drop. I honestly expected so much more from this, considering how long it took them to update the game at all. And it is so insignificant, the fact they just drop a dungeon onto the map with a change in the logo form for your fast travel. Honestly, it's like, uh, you know what, let's give you a new treat. Um... Yeah, we're going to say that we were working on something for six months and here's uh, two days worth of work. We're slapping a little sticker on everything. And uh, let's see, uh, this location has been visited by everybody. They know about it. Let's just change it a little bit and let's make a shrine over here. So there's a new dungeon for you to go to. That's basically all they did. And it's just so disappointing. Are you telling me that it starts with taking her on a... It's getting a bit disappointing to look at. I'm, I'm like so shocked that they did this here. I do know that I said that they underused this place and they could add side stories to really amp it up and, you know, give us some go for the story, but that's just about it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, I'll catch you all in a few minutes. Let me just relog this. Okay, so I am back. And just for a by the way, this is an issue with the New World server. It's not on my side. I just double checked. I have a 7 megabyte per second uh, connection at the moment. And to some of you, that may seem really slow. But uh, in reality, that is crazy enough to hold up most game signals. Okay, let's go have a look. The fact is simply, I'm sorry, I didn't know. The entrance is milk ground, but is currently blocked by corruption. Our theory is that if you seal the breaches there, you can get through. If you're sure you want to do this, then I wish you Godspeed. If this wasn't any worse, so help us look at where it's taking you directly into my card. Oh, so this is all of the hidden little gems that they're about to throw in. So we're going to see the whole place from the back of the...
I could enter there without even packing an eyelash. Let's see, do I have enough to get orbs? I've got one. Can pick up a second orb immediately. And I can't get any extra, so yeah. So let me go through with this. Trust me, this is not ideal. This is just what I'm doing for the moment. One of the easiest ways to avoid a lot of the aggro is to actually go through the side. And, and as you can see, this just goes to show what I was talking about earlier in terms of production value and the amount of time that this has wasted. To be honest, the, the fact that it's not a whole new area of the map and not a massive update isn't the worst deal, right? But the amount of effort that's put in and the amount of things they put and fixed uh, that you can see from a mile away. It's basically screaming at you that this is a big flop of an update. Just looking at it right now, you can see that I'm running towards uh, Mercard, which I know requires a 600 level team to enter. I know I'm going to find a team out here somewhere, most likely. And we're going to end up running into this craziness with who knows what. Oh wait, you're kidding me, they took down the... If you know what you're doing, you can actually evade him. a little bit too hard to outmaneuver with the lag that I'm experiencing. It's a bit difficult. It looks like this is going to be a long and tiresome one. They placed it in the most silly spot ever. In order to access this expansion, you need a full team. So the limited quantity of people in the game is just going to go crazy. So we're going to look for teams. Then we're going to get up to the top and we're going to look for teams again. It's going to be insane to be honest uh i'm just going to have to sit here and wait till somebody else passes through or if i am wise enough i might just do this
Okay. Let's back down. Let's move, move, move. I know that I have to run through all of this insane sketchy tunnel sides. And since I'm not going after any of these, and I'm not collecting anything from you, I can just run around. I could kill these guys for that mission that I have in here, but it won't do me any good killing just two of them. And I get way more than two kills. I think I might just have to run straight through that door. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is the section that you need to get to for the mission. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be covering every single mission. As I said, I was hoping for some cinematic something to, you know, kick off this whole story. They haven't had that. We didn't get anything that says this is a worthwhile thing to even be chasing after. So, overall, I don't think this was a very good expansion again. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not judging them too critically, right? The fact that this is a paid game means that you judge it as highly as possible but against a free to play mobile game they actually rank lower to me in performance and there is no small little oh so it just happened to be the way that things went in this no it's huge Oh, it's inside the church. As you can see, total frame collision stories, poor maintenance of the server, Amazon. If they immediately want to pick up this mission from whoever is offering it in here. Oh, there it is. I'm actually going to head 
uh, to the shrine. It's one of the smartest things I can imagine doing right now because with the shrine you actually ensure that every time you need to get back up here, you get back up here. There's nothing to be to buy you from entrance from the side of the map. So yeah, here we go. I, I also want to see the entrance of this crazy adventure and yeah, we'll see how things go. Obviously there's new players around, there's going to be tons of people who are brand new to this whole experience. I would have loved to have done this here with the team who I normally do it with. Unfortunately, a lot of us have decided to take breaks. There we go, fast travel point activated. Now with that in place, that means I can get here anytime I want to. I can complete the Tempest Heart Expedition mission. Let's see, I only got one. There must be a way to earn more of them, obviously. I don't see any level happening so uh, they haven't increased the level cap of the game it's a bit of a poor um, mechanism if you ask me really leaves them open to a lot of criticism and yeah this is just Yeah, just look at this, your poorly collided structures. No base building. Let's have a look at the environment around here. Look at this. It's part of the mutated cycle already. So, well, looks like this one here starts off with a dungeon. Is this a good thing? Absolutely not. Looking at the level of this here, it starts off at level 60. Right, recommended level 60. Um, I think I can have a look at it on the map and see what it says. Level 60. Right, so we don't know what the power level um, internally is going to be. Is there any recommended? Well, it looks like this is going to cut it for this video. Obviously, running this dungeon will be its own story. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.